Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. Now each week I upload a new video like this. so. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and guys, please, if you like the video, do not forget to hit the like button. Let's get started. And as usual, we're gonna start with uh, Dixie. We are looking at the weekly time frame. And as you know, guys, so uh, the dollar been in a little bit of a bullish trend uh, so far. And uh, we've got a nice break above 92. And then last week, um, a bearish week where we've got a retest back down to this uh, 92 area, which is uh, a good level, in my opinion, to keep an eye at. Um, the dollar broke out of this uh, bullish channel, though. And um, after being uh, in a bullish trend like this with higher, higher, higher lows, I was uh, thinking that 92 is still could be a good level to watch for potential uh, support once again looking left we know that this area been tested many times at uh, the support and resistance so i do like the the level to keep an eye at uh, for now uh, sadly it did break back below the 200 moving average on the daily which was a good sign that we might keep seeing the dollar pushing higher since i'm as you know perma bull on the dollar and uh, here we are again on the lower time frame. I'm still having um, a little bit of hope on this uh, 92 area. We'll keep watching that for next week to see if uh, this will hold or if it's gonna break. Now, if it breaks, um, that would not change uh, uh, the whole structure because honestly, the, uh, the structure that we really need to care about is down here, this previous swing low is uh, very important here so it could still break below 90 to give you a move all the way down here but as far as this area is not broken we might still could see further upside on the dollar so this previous swing low um, is very important but where the dollar is testing right now is also another level that we might keep an eye at so where we saw that last week we had a break back above it a retest and that where we had the close uh, on um, Friday, so uh, we'll keep that um, on my uh, radar for now. Uh, gold uh, looking good, checking the weekly time frame. We saw that uh, this area did act as good support as expected. It came a little bit um, uh, early, the, the reversal. <coughs> we did not see a, a retest of these levels down here. And if we check the daily, we have a very nice potential double bottom here with a nice bullish divergence on the RSI. And um, yeah, we uh, saw last week uh, on Thursday, there was a retest to break this neckline. Um, there was an attempt to break this neckline, I would say. And on Friday, they uh, pushed back uh, a little bit further down, in my opinion. As far as that uh, that um, uh, area down here holding on the higher uh, on the lower time frame, uh, which we have got a breakout failure to break above this, but then we've got a retest of this previously broken structure. We might still see further upside on gold if this level will hold here. So keep an eye on this uh, this uh, neckline gonna be an important thing to watch. If broken on the daily time frame, we might uh, see. Uh, much further upside on gold um, as for now it is a resistance so we might end up getting a sideways move but all in all a break above that will confirm the double bottom and the potential uh, upside oil not much is happening still stuck inside this area getting very choppy here on the lower time frame and uh, each time we get um, even lower highs and still uh, making this squeezing pattern right now. Um, nothing new here. Where the price is testing right now is a uh, potential support area. We know that by looking left, it's been acting resistance and then start acting support. And as you see, uh, we're still inside this uh, little range here. Yeah, even though on uh, late... Uh, uh, lately, last week, the price did not do much than 
going like this. So uh, what I want to see happening here for further downside, it need to break below this level, then we look for retest and then potential more downside. Otherwise to the upside, they need to break above this level here. Yeah, they need to break above this level to then uh, be able to move further up. So keep an eye on this range, the 200 moving average on the four hour acting as a nice resistance at the moment. So that is something. But then after that, you see, we start getting these lower highs showing a potential rotation down. So I'm, I'm expecting a little downside on oil now. Uh, it would need a little bit of a correction after such a huge move to the upside here and checking the daily we got a double top here we've got a broken neckline and then we need to this to end and then give us maybe one more leg to the downside all in all it might continue higher but short term correction uh euro usd checking the daily here we see that uh, euro usd broke lower the last move on the euro usd was a break to the downside so we were looking to see if we're gonna get a retest and then furthermore uh, downside so i'm still watching for the same idea because looking left this area been acting as a nice resistance previously before it broke uh, it got broken sorry so um still uh, watching this level where the price is testing right now to see what will happen this 200 moving average on the four hour could be something to watch as potential filter which means as far as there is no break above it we might still look for further downside or you could draw um, some kind of a trend line here and wait for that to be broken that is uh, also something to to play with so for next week if we fail to break higher here and break this then further downside otherwise if we see a break above uh, this previous high and then another higher low to be established then i think we might retest this level now these highs here this double top here gonna be key because if we go back to the daily we see that this is a major swing high which means if broken um, this will change the um, micro trend we have right now which is a bearish trend so a break above this would signal further upside on uh, the euro so it could actually move all the way up retest this level up here but if it failed to break higher the micro trend which is bearish will not change and we might see further downside so keep an eye on where the price is testing at the moment that is the first level to watch uh, sterling jappy uh, sorry sterling usd uh, still uh, in this um, correction phase so we've got the first impulse then another one and then fail twice to break higher to then break to the downside retest and i'm looking for potentially further downside here toward uh, this area on uh, this market especially after the break of this correction so this correction got broken on the daily time frame clearly uh, structure um, here is broken first and then we have a break of the, uh, the correction here so that's why i'm looking for potential further downside but of course this uh, down uh, this level down here need to be uh, broken so um, it's going to be pretty interesting to watch next week uh, we'll actually keep an eye on this level here as first if it got retested and failed to break higher then i might start looking for bearish evidence at this area and um, if we uh, we need to go um, on the daily to see why is that um, area marked on my chart and this is back toward uh, these levels here so all in all <clears throat> this has been acting support then start acting resistance so if we got another retest to that could be yet another resistance here so uh, that's why i'm looking for uh, further downside and uh, a break below this would signal continuation toward this area pretty straightforward you do not need to think much about it checking the uh, 200 moving average also as a confluence been acting as nice dynamic support previously as you see here and then now after uh, the break below it we've got a retest that failed to hold above it and uh, that is another signal that we might have a little bit of a rotation to the downside on the sterling uh, usd jappy this been pushing strongly to the upside it was very very strong move we were expecting a little bit of a corrections we've got one nice correction here the question is how um how far this will uh, keep pushing is it the only correction we're gonna see uh, and then 
continuation back toward um, uh, higher levels or we will see further down move here toward 108 once again that is um, a big question so for me uh, since there is no break above this previous high this might continue to the downside so i will keep an eye on this level here uh, on the short term time frame if this is not broken that will signal that we might see further downside but if we get a break above it i will consider this uh, move to the downside as the only correction we've got which means further upside to continue this very strong uh, bullish uh, trend okay and usd chief uh, also um, big correction after a very strong move to the upside this market sitting right now at a key support level this level um, is uh, uh, something to watch uh, next week to see if it will hold as support or not uh, so you probably need to mark this level and keep an eye on that at the moment the micro trend is bearish on the lower time frame as you see lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs and uh, a break below previous week lows means we might see further downside uh, correction on this market but as first keep an eye on this if broken then we start looking for further downside on um, usd chief usd cad not much is going on here we're still looking at the same ra range here last week we had a nice push to the upside to then fail to break higher and then move back down to the bottom of the range i would um, keep a keep an eye on this range play this range by the low sell the high until we have a break out of it straight forward stuff if broken we look for a retest and then further downside but as first we look for potential bounce back up from this bottom here this could be a, a, a range that this market may play inside for a little while and um, i would say the same about um aussie usd been going sideways for a while now after the uh, impulses we had to the downside it got stuck here inside this little range and last week was another week that not much happened uh, the market been trading below weekly r1 and weekly pivot point and that is uh, the range that we're gonna play for the next week until we have a break out of it so keep selling those buying this uh, level down here sell the high buy the low until we have a break out of this range to then follow that direction of the breakout and um, exact same scenario happening with New Zealand USD a little bit of a boring uh, <laughs> weekly trade ideas but come on man that's uh, the market uh, we need to adapt so it is going sideways we play it sideways until we have a healthy trend if you do not trade the ranging market you sit on the side and wait for that breakout to happen to hopefully get uh, a little bit more healthy move but after such a huge move um, i was expecting the market to go a little bit sideways getting the price accepted and here we are again keep selling the high buying the low waiting for that breakout is the only thing to do here and uh, yeah that will end uh, this video for this week thanks a lot guys and uh, see you next sunday bye bye